Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is Wivs from SlideNerd here. In this video, let me finish what I started. If you guys remember, we were making this app that uses a grid view, shows the different countries and their flags. When you click on a flag, as of now, nothing happens. But what we want is when I click on this flag, there should be a dialog box that should open. It should show the image that was clicked, the name of the country to which that flag belongs and an OK button. When the user clicks on the OK button, the dialog box closes just like the normal dialogs you have in Windows, right? So let's actually go and finish this. Inside our main activity, the first thing we need to do is enable the grid view to handle on item click events. For that, I'm gonna go ahead, say implements on item click listener. This will give me an error because right now I have not implemented the method which this listener has. So I'm gonna press Alt Enter in Android Studio implement methods click OK and there you go on item click now every time the user clicks on an item this method is called and it has four parameters supplied to it first parameter represents the grid view second parameter represents the single item that was clicked inside our grid view to be very precise second parameter has a reference to this relative layout which is the root view for our single item which contains the image view inside our grid view right the third parameter is the position where the item was clicked 0 1 2 and so on and the fourth parameter matters only when we are using SQLite databases and content providers so now let's actually write code here to make the dialog box or invoke the dialog box now how do we make a dialog box that is the first question you have right there are three ways one we use an activity as a dialog two we use fragments and three we also use fragments now the other two methods two and three I'll be talking about them in my upcoming videos when I talk about fragments in this let me show you how to make an activity act like a dialog box so for that I'm gonna go to here slidenet.wibs folder make a new activity by saying new activity so I have named the activity as my dialog and the layout it needs in a separate activity underscore my dialog file so click finish click ok there is probably some error in android studio but don't worry so at this point it's completely done my dialog has been made let's go to the layout over here as you guys notice shows the hello world right now we don't want this what we want is the image of the flag two the country name and three the ok button so let's add them going to the design tab image view drag and drop it center horizontal right at the top now after I have added the image view the problem is I don't see anything here and the truth is I need to see something here so that I can structure my layout in a better manner so going back to the text part here for now I'm going to give a temporary source by saying source at the rate drawable so there you go this is how things will look now right below this flag we will have a text that says this flag belongs to India in our case so going back to design so I have made sure that this text is aligned to the center horizontal just like the image view and it is right below the flag now we need to add the button again going down going to design tab here so finally here's my layout for the dialog box that has the image view it has the text below it and it has a button so for handing the button I'm gonna have an on click attribute I'm gonna say on click here I will call a method called close dialog if you guys remember how on click works we have to define a method with this name inside our dialog so I'm gonna go here so here every time the user clicks on the button inside the dialog box the close dialog method is going to be called so here I will write finish to complete our activity and well that's pretty much it going back to our main activity here where we had our grid view I'm gonna need to add the listener I'm gonna say grid dot set on item click listener so inside on item click we need to launch the dialog box now yes there is one thing remaining to, to be done right now this my dialog is actually an activity we need to make it a dialog so how do we do that very simple go to manifest go to the find the my dialog here inside the activity section go here apply a theme there you go at the rate android style theme dot dialog now this one statement is going to convert your activity to look like a dialog remember it still works like an activity but looks like a dialog so going here back to our main activity 
I'm gonna say my dialogue okay now we need to invoke the dialogue over here for that I will use an intent if you guys remember intents are the standard mechanisms for communication between activities services and stuff in Android right so I'm gonna say intent this intent will have two parameters first one will be the context second one is the name of the activity that I want to call in my case it is my dialogue class and I simply say start activity and pass that intent object inside so this start activity method can use the data inside this intent object and call the required class right that's all we need to go ahead and run this so now our emulator is up and running I click one of the flags notice what happens the dialog has been launched it is actually an activity it has been launched with a theme to look like a dialog and here inside we have the layout which we define inside our activity underscore my dialog dot XML which has the flag the name and the OK button click on OK and the on click attribute gets triggered the close dialog method is called finish is executed and the dialog box closes the problem with this you click on any flag it is showing India's flag right now in the next video I will show you exactly how to pass that flag from the activity to inside this dialog and also how to display the country name and that will complete our app in the meantime if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day